All right, welcome back to Silver Run Forest, episode 29. So as you can see, it's kind of dark and we're going to get we're going to quick sleep here. I kind of uh, I was getting stuff ready and I had to go on a phone call. So it's like I come back and I'm like, oops, we kind of went into the nighttime. And we're still kind of I'm going to push this, push the clock ahead just enough to get the sun out. Uh, it's the coaster was getting really close to to uh, finishing the shingles that it had so we're going to see what happens with that that's the first thing we're going to go check on you know obviously a lot of stuff is uh, missing but first thing we're probably going to do is we're going to go load up those uh after we go go to uh oh i need to go here after we go right here and check on this yes so we do have a second thing we should have enough of everything um got wood beams we got planks uh metal prefab walls i don't know i mean staircase railings we should have so uh there's one way to find out Go like this quick and uh okay yep yeah, it was going down so that means we had enough. So, let's find the semi. That's not what we want. Uh, because of the way I edited it, there is some stuff that's missing that you guys never seen. I was messing around with the water system. See if we could get water easier. Um, it says we need an umbilical hose. I'm assuming that means I need one of those rolls. But, you know, as you can see, we don't have a ton of money right now. Oh, I'm sorry, car. Did I cut you up? Um, uh, let's see. So we're going to, we're probably going to pick this up today. I don't know why I didn't just buy the header for the, um, for our vehicle over here and uh, did it that way. But, you know, we did not. So, but we need to go find one of our, uh, our flatbed trailers and uh, let's see where are they is there one down here at the there's a forklift there um that's that that's the other trailer that's our thing in that um that's the, the load run oh i see where it's at it's over here Okay, so we're going to run over and get that, and then we're going to kind of get some work done here. We're going to, um, we don't really need a, the big, big flatbed trailer. In fact, let's do this. Um, blue, there we go. Um... I, I need to spend some time figuring that stuff out. And like I said, it it needs an umbilical hose. So I'm assuming that's what the, you know, the hose parts are, you know. But we're going to come over here and we're going to grab this uh, yellow trailer. And then we're going to put, what is there, three or four out here? Three. Put all three on there and we're going to take them over to the spinery. Actually wondering now if that's kind of a dumb idea. I just, I'm looking at how much stuff is right here. We can always take this up to get uh, wood or whatever we might need. Um, let's actually go ahead and grab the, the tractor. Sorry, I just, I don't mean to be uh, inconsistent there, you know, and uh, questioning my own ideas, but uh, we need that. We need all this. Uh, I want to take all of this into there. We might have to turn the spinery on to actually do. Uh, everything i don't think we have it for cotton yet but i'm pretty sure i need to pull this trailer forward a little bit to, to get all this on here um i'm gonna shut those belts off so that i can uh i want to take this little one and uh stack it on the upper deck here with this one 
There we go. Man, that's a lot of wool, I mean. Yeah, not to mention we got all the cotton out on the field, so, uh... I can't imagine those, uh... Those big bolts of cotton there. Are, you know, lightweight. I'm pretty sure they're heavy, you know, and, uh... So we should make some decent money. I'm hoping we don't have to make two runs. I'm, one way or another, we're stacking all everything on this trailer. Yeah, you know, it's starting to look like the metal factory now, but we're obviously starting to get some uh, some of age sheep, you know, that can start uh, making us more sheep. So now I haven't looked at the numbers recently. But, uh, and, and I'm not real worried about it until the coaster is actually done, but, uh, we may at some point, you know, have to say, well, the coaster's done, you know, and it's, uh, time to move on, you know, with life and find another map. I am going to start looking just in case, but here's the deal. You guys keep the numbers up, you know, you keep putting them in the double digits for me, like you've been. I will uh, keep making content for it. You know, it's not like I'm going to go and delete the map, but at the same time, you know, I am thinking about stopping doing it once we uh, we reach any low numbers. I don't, you know, I'm not saying, you know, we're reaching low numbers already and I don't want to do this anymore. I do enjoy it. It's fun as hell. But, you know, I don't know what it's going to be like when the coaster's gone, you know. You know, is it still going to be fun to to drag stuff around the map and uh, try and do it properly or am I gonna want to start over again and start doing stuff you know from scratch again but you know it's all up to you guys you know if you guys uh, keep watching the videos you know and we're keeping you know semi decent numbers I mean we've been at least 10 out of the 38 people that we have for followers you know yes I would like to have more followers but uh you know i gotta i guess i gotta work harder you know to get those hollers you know whatever you know and those are fun that's fine you know um are we even gonna be able to get more than one of these on here what we're gonna do is uh see if we can stack them up top I just, I want to get this, these on here. I mean, it looks kind of cool seeing that huge uh, unit on the back, you know. And this one's no uh, lightweight either. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand this one up. That way we can, uh, you know, put it this direction. I'm trying to get the, there we go. You got to get it turned just the right way to get it to go, you know, the way you want it. Uh, I think I better uh, adjust that just a hair. That should work. We'll go down and get the other one, throw it up on top. Could you imagine, you know, trying to pick that up with the with our standard uh, tractor, you know, to even with the blue one with the with an arm on it to do it, maybe still be kind of a little bit uh, dicey, I would think. But I'd like to get this field, uh, you know, done and over with, you know, maybe today, you know, maybe get uh, get it all set up to uh, make cotton again. I don't know if this is the, if we can, uh, you know, how close we are to planting cotton. I think it's, you know, I think it's two months or three months different than uh, when we harvest it. Let's put this quick look. Um, yeah, in two months. So we got two months to get this field, you know, in shape and ready to go. Okay, let's just quick check our, uh, our spinery. We need to turn the fab turn that on let's activate that i'm guessing we got a bunch of cotton or a bunch of uh, cloths sitting out there 
And if we do, we're probably going to run it over to the, the yacht. I know the yacht needs some stuff, you know. I mean, that could have been put on there a little neater, couldn't have it? Jeez. At least the other two are up there nice and neat. I know we get a lot of use out of the semi on this map. You know, we're always running to get uh, ore or we're going to get wood or whatever, you know. You know, I would like to today or tomorrow get a load of wood down to paper because, uh, you know, paper's definitely worth the time. But uh, not at the moment. You know, we're not worrying about it right this minute. Let's put it that way. Huh. I wonder if that's the drop-off spot there that I see. I don't know. We got more stuff to do with that. You know, we're going to put the, the power generator in there so we get money, you know, for that too. And... Uh, Let's see if I can kind of sneak in here somehow to... This place is not the easiest place to get into at the semi. We'll just have to kind of push that out of the way, I guess, huh? Does it not... Does it not take these cotton bales? It says it takes cotton. Maybe the cotton has to be on the ground. I don't know. Okay. It took that bale. So let's see what we can do about getting this. The one that wants to roll off the back. Okay. I see how you are. So I did take that cotton bale in. Holy cow, 30,000 cotton in there that we just... In there. So let's go ahead and let's load up what we got for fabric. Um, if at some point we do get kind of crazy on the fabric and we're running too much, there is a uh, across from where we sell the salt and pepper shakers and stuff like that. There is the, a building that takes cloth there as well. And they make, I think they make t-shirts or something, but you know, can't own it, unfortunately, but you know. But I don't think we're going to have a problem with fabric for a little while. I think we got a few things of fabric coming out. I mean, by tomorrow, this place will be packed with fabric, I'm sure, and the system will be shut down. But let's run this over to the to the yacht. Like I said, I'm gonna look to see what we need for the yacht. I know there was stuff we needed. I think we need beams for sure. But I just I want to get some of this going and get it, you know, down here. I'd like to have the yacht running. I mean, because I think we have everything we need for the coaster. But okay, there we go. That's all that. Okay, so... We need planks, beams, and floor tiles. So, we're going to head down there. I will... Uh, I'm just going to go down there, load them, come back to the floor tiles, and when I got the floor tiles loaded, I will uh, come back and we'll... Uh, We'll go check that out. This may, I may set this up as a time lapse or I may just uh, cut scene it. Just see what, what we have time wise. I mean, we've already used quite a bit of time, so it might work out well.
right, so we didn't really have much room there. I'm going to actually, these long planks, we don't really need them, but let's see. Let's just make sure the pet thing don't, uh, well, actually, one thing I want to check here first, I want to make sure that we are actually getting, uh, let's see, where's floor tiles? We do have long, we do have long activated. So we will get some long planks, but uh, let's see. I don't want these to take my... Oh, we need wool down here. So we're going to put these long planks in here. Because we know we need them here. But next time we get some wool, even if it's just a small amount, we're going to bring it down because I want to see if we can get some of those animal houses to sell, you know, and these uh, curbs are kind of screwy. But we're going to take these down to the yacht because the yacht definitely needs these. They need the flooring too, but we didn't have any flooring, so uh, not much we could do about it with the flooring. And if we do need long, tomorrow we're going to be bringing, we're going to be doing what? We're going to fill up all th we're gonna fill up both of the machines that use wood you know so let's go ahead and drop these long planks off here okay so we need this tractor it's pretty sad that the the bm's just become uh you know it's there to do its job that's all it's there for you know to, well i can go to the house <laughs> It's kind of sad, but, uh, you know, it is a good use for it. You know, we could sell it down the road, you know, down the road, but, uh, you know, whatever, you know, it's not, uh, not needed to be sold immediately. So, uh, that does need to be sold. We are going to sell it since we're using the other style. I mean, obviously when we get 900,000, we're buying the cotton, the cotton picker. I'm actually thinking about, uh. I don't know where we got a ton of stuff in the BGA and I don't know how much more we really need in there. So I'm not sure if we're going to uh, use bolt fields as cotton fields or what we're going to do here. But we definitely need to get this done, you know, so. You know, I would like to actually start doing other stuff. I mean, I want to get the, I've got some ideas of stuff I want to do. I want to try clearing some, you know, more trees and see if I can just find uh, semi-flat areas. I mean, they don't have to be perfectly flat, you know, just where we can put in some other stuff, you know, and uh, I mean, it's not like down over here, we couldn't put in a you know, a building or whatever we wanted to do down there. It's not like it can't be done. It's just something different, you know, that I want to try. You know, I want, yeah, I got like three or four dumb things I've never done. And uh, I just want to try it, see how it turns out and everything.
so we're just about done here. I thought it was going to take less time than it would actually did, so... Uh, I don't know how much... If we're going to get anything else done, I guess is my thing, thing right now. We got a lot of stuff that needed to get done today, but... Uh, you know, we can do the do some of the other jobs tomorrow. It's not that big of a deal. But I mainly wanted to get this field prepared for uh, when we're ready, you know, to, to plant cotton. Maybe tomorrow we'll take a look at this water thing. I still haven't figured it out at all. I mean, it all depends on how much money we have, too. We need money to uh, figure some of this out, so... But, uh, yeah. But, yeah, that, that, uh, that at least we got that done. So, I, I think since we're already running low on time here, I'm going to call it here. Um, I will uh, see you guys tomorrow. Um, please like, share, follow, ring the notification bell so you know about uh, our new videos. And I uh, will see you guys next time.